something every day if I can really this is my rest day Sundays I'm off you could thank Kathy D for um getting me uh down here into the lab but usually Sundays I am off <laughs> it's all on that part there uh with that one so I know it's why I got the cards I just kind of really like a hodgepodge like a message or a love letter from the divine masculines collectively this is my freebie and my thanks for you all for um the 2K um, subscribing. Thank you, all of you all that's clicking and sharing and liking. Uh, don't forget to share. I got good stuff, especially if you got friends and someone that want that divine love or soulmate or whatever, like that twin flame as well, although I specialize in twin flame because that's who I am. But again, this stuff, again, is across the board. If they want the divine love that Source has and picked out this person, this goes across the board, not just for twin flames anyway, uh, only because we you know eventually it's going to be everybody comes here with a set twin flame as well but we're just the ones that kind of that know already have awakened is just jump starting and getting ready for the other ones to follow suit uh as well so i'm going to do a love letter from the divine masculine collective to the divine feminine collective uh as well so this is my freebie and this is my love letter and my my gift to you for the 2k okay beginning there you are the best thing that happened to me in a long time please know divine feminines before I met you I thought I knew everything <laughs> I thought I knew everything about love, what was going to happen to me, how much I had deserved love, what love was all about. And then came you. <laughs> right now, the thing and the changes that I'm going through right now, you won't believe. There's a windfall of things that are happening to me in my life. I got towers. I got aha moments. I got things that are prospering and things are going and leaving and coming and I feel like right now I'm in the whirlwind but I know it's setting me up for my windfall I know that these things that's these windfalls are happening to me is because of uh, I'm getting downloads I'm also looking at the way of how I'm connecting with people in relationships I'm also looking at how I'm standing my power and what's really my true identity in things but most of all I'm working on getting into my heart more see the heart of the matter is is that I'm understanding how to really recapture romance true romance I'm allowing my inner youthful spirit of fun to shine I'm going back to before any of these experiences and loves and heartbreaks that I have to really truly clear out, to come out of my system. I know when it comes to you, we're going to have that natural flow. Just like the waters. We have an ebb and flow to us. And I know in order for that to actually happen, I've got to get rid of this heartbreak. Because this heartbreak and these failures and these disappointments actually are stopping me to be able to move forward. And I know when we come together, clear, you're going to be looking for me. To see how I am going along with this flow, this swing, the swing of things. So that's why I know right now this emotion is where I feel like I'm bouncing off at, at sea with no direction, no compass, no true guide, no true way in which I'm going. 
that's got to cease to be. Because I know you are the one, the guiding light, the true north that's guiding me in my emotions. And I truly have to know where I'm going. I know that with you, I want this new life. I know that I want to come out of my shell when it comes to my emotions, the way I love. And I want to be able to honor my emotions and I want to honor yours too. I see you. I see you living the life that you've dreamed. I see you coming out of your shell, which is also helping me to become motivated to do the same. It is because of you and your being divine feminines and your high priestess. I see you being able to open up a new chapter. Cutting off people. Cutting out things that no longer serve. And using those to be the keys of life and helping you to move forward. To be flexible in life is helping you to gain new knowledge. You're getting the fruits of your labor. You're cloaked in love. I see you. And because I see you, it helps me to know what I've got to do as well. So when I think of this connection, Divine Feminines, I think about us both being equally open to it. But I want to be the firm foundation this time. I want to be the one that helps you to stay open to our connection, to our intimacy. I want to stand firm in my emotions and understanding what it takes to be able to be in this position. What it takes in, as far as actions to be in this position. I know at times it might feel like you might feel a little apprehensive in making this connection. A part of you want this. A part of you wants to stop it. But a part of me is saying, I'm not going to let you go. No matter how you pull away from me. We are connected. You are mine. We are we. <laughs> I wonder a lot of times, where are you? Where you at? Where are you at in this love? Where are you at as far as thinking about me? Where are you at? As far as us trying to do this thing called union. Have you left me? Have you forgotten about me? Have you said deuces to me? Have you said fuck me? Yeah, I hear some of the thoughts that you say. And part of me is say I don't blame you. But that still doesn't stop me from wanting you. Because I know that you and I are destined and that's the truth we're destined to be the truth we're destined to show the truth in love in our mission in our purpose
clear. We are the part of tree of life. We are the parts that help it to live, to flourish. We are like the leaves. Our love helps to make it grow. So I know in order for that to happen, I need to get into magician mode. I've got to make some changes. I've got to stir things up energetically, and I've got to make things happen. And for me to get in magician mode, that's going to take a process. That's going to take some time. I'm getting there. To be truthful, I've used some of that magician energy for bad. Now, I've got to learn how to use it for good to make things manifest in this thing called love as far as being in union with you. Because I've deceived myself, too. In order for me to levitate, elevate, and to ascend, it's got to take me to another power, another level. A level of understanding that requires me to get into my heart energy. But I feel divine is also guiding and helping me too as well. And as source is filling me up and giving me the resources and the things that I need, I feel it as if it flows through me and flows right back to source and it flows right back to me. I'm kind of getting now the understanding of how it is to be with your true divine lover. How that energy before you were throwing to me, I wasn't throwing back to you, to be honest. And how it's got to be that even flow. That's why I said, I understand now how I've got to be in that playfulness. Understanding that romance is just like magic. We're creating love out of nothing for some of us because some of us do not know what love is as divine masculines. So, my last thing that I want to leave you with is to understand, embrace your emotions. This last word is not only for you but it's also for me because we both got to learn how to not push down our feelings and judge our emotions when it comes to this connection when it comes to us i'm judging because i'm thinking i'm going to get hurt you're going to reject me you don't want me and you're hurt because you believe that i'm going to hurt you and reject you again But we both have to live in our truth because that's what we're destined in. Please note that you are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Heck, I could take that off and say you are the best thing <laughs> that ever happened to me. Between every line, every pain, every glory. Whether you're there with me 3D or physically or spiritually, please know, Divine Feminines, you're always there with me. No, I see you. And when I say I see you, I mean I see you. I see what you're becoming. I see how strong you are without me. Which gives me the courage to say what would happen when I am in my true magician mode and I'm with you. Now that's the truth. Us being side by side, doing our mission and our purpose being in love with each other, supporting one another, lacking and wanting for no one else. That's the truth. And that's what source says that we're destined to be. 
the truth. Signed, Your Divine Masculine Collective. Love always. All right. Thank you for, again, my two, uh, 2K subscribers and liking and subscribing to my thing. This is my thank you to you. This is a sample of also the love letters that I do as well. Um, this one I did for the collective, but I do do this for personally. Remember, again, at the end of July, uh, it's $14, and after that, it's going to be upgraded to $22. So if you want to kind of jump in on that and you want your own personalized one, remember this is a general reading again. Everybody's again, he's kind of told a little bit about his 3D um, things about that, but sometimes they do and sometimes they don't because remember the thing is not for you to fall in love, not for them to give you all that uh, stuff behind the scenes that make you say, uh, it's a question mark because he always said, the divine masters always say, where are you at? Where you at in all this? Are you with it or you're not? So they sometimes get deep and sometimes they don't. It depends on how they feel like they want to reveal at that moment uh, as well. So keep that in mind. So if you want your own love letters, please make sure, again, like I say, until the end is probably to this week. What's what's this? Hold on a second. Let me get my calendar here. What we got? Yeah, to the end of this week. I run it to August, August uh, 2nd. And then after that, then um, the prices will go up. You have it until the end of this week. All right. As always, <laughs> as always, stay uplifted. Stay okay. Astralopithecus, I've just seen your name. Love you too. All right. As always, stay uplifted. Stay motivated. Stay ascended. Namaste. Namaste. Love you. <laughs>